This is a very straightforward question. They have asked, name the technique of wiring that is used over here. So, the answer over here is resistance wiring technique. Why is this resistance? In this technique, it is mainly used for the fracture of the symphysis of the mandible. So, symphysial mandible, mandibular symphysis fractures are usually considered to be a little more complex or complicated as compared to the others because the forces of forces of muscles as well as the bone, the way they act in the symphysis region is a little more difficult to reduce as compared to the others. So, in symphysis fractures, what we usually do is, and the muscle force pull as well as the up, pulling apart of the two sides of the mandible is much more severe in the symphysis region as compared to the other regions. So, in order to combat the forces, there was something called as, uh, this was a wiring technique that was introduced to us by resident. So, what does this wiring technique do is, you take the, you take two wires, 25 gauge or 24 gauge, you take two wires and you wrap them around the molars. So, you take one and you wrap it around the molar, you take one more, you wrap it around one more molar and then you come to the premolars. You keep doing this on either side. Once you have wrapped them on all the teeth, you bring all the wires together and you tie them over here at the center. So, what happens is, basically, first of all, you are taking anchorage from the molar, from the posterior teeth and you are continuously coming anteriorly. So, the most and because these teeth have severe anchorage and the bone around the molars is much more denser, you are more support over there in that region to combat the forces. In addition to that, you are taking even anchorage from that area, which means that there will be greater force to combat the separation at the, that occurs at the symphysis region. And then you bring it to the anterior region and you tie it over there so that both the fragments are placed right next to each other. In some cases, this was a this was an AIMS question. In pedo patients who have had a symphysis fracture, you can do uh, resident wiring because all symphysis fractures usually are treated by resident wiring, or you place a plate. If it is a non-reducible fracture or a set, then you will uh, raise a flap and you will gain access to the bone and you will place plates okay so this is resistance wiring technique this is the gilmer's wiring technique this is what is called as the direct wiring technique where you just wrap the wire around the teeth like a few teeth and then both in the maxilla as well as the mandible and then you just tie them together and the last one this is the iv eyelet so, IV and eyelet both is the same person. So, IV was a person who introduced the eyelet wiring. So, it is one wiring technique only. So, what you do is you take a wire, you wrap it around a probe and then you twist it like this. After that, you have one small segment and one large segment. You take the large segment, you push it into this hole and then you take this small segment and you push it around the tooth over here. This goes around this tooth over here. It goes into the eyelet over here and then you, with the help of a plier, you wrap it around. And then you tie those extensions, whatever remaining extensions that are there, you tie them to each other and you create a maxillomandibular fixation.